Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, Cleaning Nation. So excited to be with you today. Um, I have got, um, I actually looked at the title, Why You Need to Be Resourceful. I'm like, that's a terrible title. No one's going to show up for this. So um, we'll see who actually shows up. The problem is this is such, I might actually change the title for the uh, the podcast and the, the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the YouTube folks, because it's not compelling, but it is so important. And I'm bummed because I don't want anyone else to miss out on this really, really important topic. So what we should have title is the real key to success. And I got to tell you, commitment and resourcefulness is it. And it's frustrating because everybody kind of wants their business to be easy and follow their rules. And I'll put in what I want to put in. Um, But the reality is business takes what it takes, right? So many of us are like, I will give excellent customer service or I'll work really hard or whatever. And therefore I'll be successful. And that's just not the reality. The reality is um, it takes what it takes. And that, and what that is, is resourcefulness and, and commitment. We're going to talk about exactly what that looks and feels like today. And this is a tough one. Uh, I, I rant a lot, but rarely do I, am I going to get fired as fired up as I probably will today because this isn't as much of what you need to do. It's who you need to be. Hey, Carrie, good to have you here, sister. Um, and that who you need to be is just far, far, far more important than what you need to do. Uh, and it's a, it's a, that's why, that's why everyone's not successful, right? If there was just a secret or a key to success, like do A, B, and C and you'll be rich. Someone would just write a book saying do A, B, and C and everyone would be rich, right? It is really becoming who you need to become. Same with all these diet books out there, right? It's a billion dollar industry based on move more, eat less, right? <laughs> it's, it's just how exactly to do that. And really to become a thin person, you need to adopt the eating and movement habits of thin people, right? <laughs> if you know, ever wants to sell a magic, well, if you just imagine literal magic beans, if you just eat these magic beans or pills, you'll be skinny. Um, but if that was the case, we'd all be skinny. So let's dive in. The problem is if you're one of those people that are only willing to play by your rules, right? Um, well, I will do this, but I won't do that. Right. And again, I'm not talking about anything illegal or uh, immoral, right? I'm never going to ask you to do anything that doesn't serve or help your other human beings. But some people are like, why well, I, I won't go into debt or I won't work weekends or I won't do this or I won't do that. That's fine. All of you have every right and ability. And I encourage you to set your own boundaries to what you will or won't do. But you don't get to say, and I'm going to get these results, right? That would be like, I'm going to be the president of the United States, but I don't want to work more than 50 hours a week to get elected. Well, that's what it takes. Or I don't want to, you know, have to make a deal with somebody that I I don't like or agree with. Well, I've never been the president or run for presidency, but I'm guessing it takes a lot of that stuff, right? So it's okay for me to have those standards. One of the many, many reasons I don't run for president of the United States, because I'm okay not getting that results. Same with business, right? If you say, I won't do X or I won't do Z or I won't do whatever, um, Daisy asks if the volume is really low. I don't know. I'll try and yell louder. <laughs> uh, hopefully the volume's coming in okay. Um, anyway, all that to say, check the mic, everything okay? I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Um, all that to say, it's okay for you to set boundaries into what you will and won't do, but you have to play by the rules. Business is only going to serve you based on the results uh, on what you do. So if you say, I won't do X, Y, or Z, that has nothing to do with if X, Y, or Z is required to succeed. And if it is, you've got to do it. So really important. Okay. So we've got to, again, kill that. If I just give good service or I just work hard or I just, you know, whatever, I'm going to be successful. The reality is you've got to figure crap out even when it's hard. Um, Perfect example. I've I've shared the story before of how all of my employees quit on the first day at that moment. And I'll tell you, I had not only given all the money that I had, I borrowed uh, more money than I'd ever seen in my whole life at the time. And it was, you know, it wasn't that much, but it was tens of thousands of dollars, which at the time uh, growing up poor was a lot to me. All my employees quit. At that moment, I could have excuses, right? I could have said, I'm only 22 years old. I don't have any money. All my employees quit. I can't possibly do this. This is harder than I thought. It's not fair. The old owner screwed me There's because uh, I had purchased the company. So all those excuses I could have made, um, or, and I could have those excuses and be broke till this day, or I could, um, or I could get to work and, and, and get the results. And I chose to get to work and get the results. So all that to say, 
you have to at any time give what the business needs and you can have excuses or you can have results, but you absolutely can't have both. The good news is no matter where you are in your journey, you have that same opportunity, right? You can make excuses of, and we're going to talk about this. Well, if I need X, then I, I'm going to do Y, or you can just have me to get to work, right? So the, the reality is you've got to kind of pay the price. You don't get to set the rules for success. Success costs what it costs. You must grow and do what it takes. You don't get to say, well, I'll do anything, you know, I want to have a successful business and I'll do anything it takes as long as I don't have to borrow money, as long as I don't have to work weekends, as long as I don't have to um, miss time with my kids. And I'm, I love time with my kid. I'm not saying, again, we should all abandon our children, uh, certainly not for long periods of time, but when you're just starting or if you're in a period of high growth, it might take that, right? Um, the reality is if you say, if you say, if you kind of set these rules, success doesn't care, right? Like if I'm like, all right, gravity, I'm going to work with you, but not if I, if I jump off of this versus that gravity doesn't care. It is what it is. So we've kind of got to understand the rules and say, here's what I'm willing to do. And here's the, the, the here or really start with, here's what I want to get. And then you've kind of got to mold what you're, what price you're willing to pay around that. And if it's not, um, if you're not willing to pay that price, you got to be okay. Well then I guess I can't get that result, but just to shake your fist at the air is not going to work. So the reality thing is successful people succeed. Well, we think, well, that guy succeeds because he's smarter than I am. The reality is successful people succeed because when everybody else quits, the successful people keep going. I'm going to say that again because it's so true. Successful people succeed not because they're smarter than you, not because they have more money than you, not because they have more experience and success than you, but because when everybody else quits, they keep going, right? Just like, I don't know what percentage of people out there when they just bought their company and all their employees quit and yada, yada. yada. I don't know what percentage would have keep going, but the, the vast majority would have quit. So everyone, you know, people kind of see me now and be like, oh, you were, you know, you've got it easy. You were born rich. I was not born rich, right? I was born to a single mom who was broke, worked my tail off and had to go through a lot of 50, 100 hour weeks um, to get where I'm at. And then they're like, oh, well, it's because you're smart. It's like, nope, I was just as dumb, probably a lot dumber than most of you guys when it comes to business. But I asked a lot of questions. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on my own education and personal development. And when crap got hard, I kept doing it, right? So everyone kind of wants to skip that. And it's just unfortunately, you can't do it. So really successful business people are successful for a couple of reasons, commitment and resourcefulness. Commitment is just when everyone else quits, I keep going. Resourcefulness, we're going to talk about that. So resourcefulness is, and that's really what I want to get into today because people kind of get the commitment. I don't know that they know how important it is, but they, they understand it. Like if I give up easy, I'm not going to succeed in business. If I kind of go beyond and beyond that and beyond that, um, I'll succeed. And that is the truth. Resourcefulness is kind of a way to do that. That really supercharges that. So unsuccessful people hit a wall and they use that as an excuse. I don't have any money. Therefore I can't be rich. Um, Successful people have that exact, you know, I could have hit that one good. I have no employees. I'm 22 years old. I can't do the work of, I only, I think when I bought the company, I only had like four employees. So it wasn't like a ton, but I can't do the work of four people. I'm going to be six. I'm going to, I quit. I, I must lose, right? That's what unsuccessful people say. They don't get resourceful. Resourceful people say, because I'm 22 and don't have any employees, I'm going to have to do X, Y, and Z to be successful because I don't have any money. If I'm going to be successful, I'm going to have to borrow it or earn it or be resourceful and figure something out. Every single real estate developer out there, right? Not every single one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of them were able to control millions of dollars worth of real estate without owning millions of dollars, right? Because they were willing to get resourceful. The story I've told before, and it's one of my favorite stories about my buddy, Rich, if you're out there listening, kudos, big guy. Um, when he first started in the cleaning business and he's very, very successful now, but at the beginning he was just starting, he would go to property managers who was his target and see all these lavish gifts his competitors had given them. And, you know, he figured, well, there's, I don't know, you know, 50 property managers I want to, I want to do. And, you know, these gifts are two or 300 bucks and I don't know the math, but thousands of dollars, right? He's like, I don't have that to, to blow on Christmas gifts. So instead of giving, so he could have said, unsuccessful people have said, I don't have any money. I need money to do this. Therefore I can't do it. Successful, resourceful people get resourceful. Rich said, what do I have? He could have said, I could borrow money. He could have said, I'm going to, um, start a Christmas fund and they have a GoFundMe now, right? He could have sold some crap. He chose to say, you know what? I, with the assets I do have is me. I'm going to go give in time, right? All these other 
property managers are giving gifts because they don't really have the time to personalize and you've got so many clients that can't come spend the time with each client. I have time. So he went and gave every single uh, one they didn't want to work with his Christmas hug, right? Which happened to be free. He used the resources that he had time uh, and, and, and forwent kind of the money, right? So just about every business owner I know has been successful, has had to get capital, has had to get time, has had to figure something out. Um, and I'll tell you, you'll find this as you, in your own business life, as I've had more and more companies and bigger and bigger companies, and I've had lots of $10 an hour employees, I have lots of $20 an hour employees, I've had lots of $60,000, $70,000 salaried people, lots of $100,000 salaried people, and all the way up. The reality is, and people think, oh, you know, people won't pay me more money because they don't like me or because they're <laughs> whatever. We make up stories, right? unsuccessful people make up stories like, oh, you know, he doesn't, you know, something, right? I'm black, I'm white, I'm young, I'm old, whatever. Like it's something outside of me as opposed to going, what can I do? And I'll tell you, if you want to make more money as an employee, really, I found I didn't pay people on how long they were with me or how smart they were is really how resourceful they got before they quit. So in my car dealership, for example, we had a lot of tenants for 10 bucks an hour and they would pretty much just clean crap up, kind of make sure everything was running, um, look after the cars. And as soon as something went wrong, I don't have the key. They would just give up, right? I couldn't, I couldn't do my job because whatever, I didn't have the key to the car. So I just left it there. Right. And then we'd have kind of, uh, the mechanics who had to do a little bit harder work, right? They had to manage kind of their own tools. And if something went wrong, they'd figure it out. Whereas a lot of tenant would be like, Oh, I don't know. This is too hard. I don't know how to get the education to work on these cars. And then there was kind of the shop manager who figured crap out. And then um, like, even he would come to me. So, you know, a lot of tenant might make 10 bucks an hour. Mechanic might make $20 an hour. The guy that ran the whole shop may, might make 40 bucks an hour. And even he would come to me sometimes and go, you know, we've got this car and we paid too much for it and the transmission's out. And it's going to be three grand. And what do I do? And as an owner, I'm like, so what are we just going to leave it there? Right. It'd be like two, three weeks, four weeks, the car to get there. And these things don't get more valuable as you hold on to them. They get less valuable. Right. So he would come to me just with like, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. And it's like, well, you got to do something. We got to make a decision, figure something out. Like, you know, are we just going to bury it in the backyard? Like at some point we're gonna have to fix it or sell it or run it through the auction, do something. So Really, I found when you're looking to earn money, and this certainly is when you're hiring, but it, it also is as an owner, you, you pay the people more that give up, that continue to get resourceful and figure stuff out before they quit, right? If I'm looking for a general manager for my business, he has to be able to do everything, right? Because really, that's what we get paid for. At the end of the day, everyone else in our business has given up and we have to make that solution, right? So like at the car dealership, if I had an employee that was pissed, they were good and pissed, right? Because they talked to a bunch of other people in my organization before they got to me and everyone else had given up saying, I can't make this person happy. Um, and I, again, as an owner, we don't get to pass that buck, right? A lot of those conversations were difficult. I don't want to have them, but it was me. Who else was I going to do it? So I had to figure out and get resourceful. I couldn't just have this customer sue us or whatever. It had to be handled. So I really, really want to encourage you as opposed to arguing with resourcefulness. And I don't want to do that. And I'm trying to make all these rules. The rules we should have should be like integrity, right? We never lie or cheat or steal. We'll always do things that, that's right for the other person. But that's about it. Um, if, it's, if it takes eating crow, and that's another thing. You think there was many times where we had, especially in the car dealership, people that were absolutely wrong. We had gone way above and beyond. They're still pissed off. And I would just say, you know what? I'm going to make this thing right. I'm going to make this person happy. And I could have said, screw him. I'm the owner of this place. I make a lot more money than him or I'm whatever, whatever. Um, and felt good. And he would have ruined my life. Or I could have just said, you know what, whatever it is to make you happy. Um, I'm going to choose to, to be rich as opposed to be right. And that is really becoming resourceful. So, um, I know I can hear some of you guys out there feeling or believing in your heart. Like, well, my circumstance is different. You don't understand. I don't have any money or I don't have this, or I'm too short or tall or old or young or uneducated or whatever the case may be. The truth of the matter is the reality of reality is it has everything. It has so little to do with how much money you have, how much education you have, how good looking you are, how much experience you have, how many friends you have, how many friends in high places, none of that crap. Honestly, having coached hundreds and hundreds of owners of cleaning companies, when I started, I thought that was, oh, if they had a good education, if they had a lot of money, if they had a good business plan, or if they had um, experience, right? I realized none of that mattered. If I could just pick that one thing, it would be resourcefulness and commitment. I'm never going to give up and I'm always going to be resourceful and figure out a way to get the solution that I want, period, no matter what, period, no matter what. So, you know, single mom, and for all of you go, you don't understand my situation is different, Mike, my, I'm unique. I, my, I can't possibly, right? Well, first of all, put my, you know, having given all the money I had to the old owners and 
borrowed a bunch of money and having no money and then having all the employees quit on the first day, I'll put that up against just about any of you guys. But just in case you're like, oh, my situation's worse, Mike. The reality is we've helped people that were currently undergoing cancer treatment be very successful. We've helped single moms with multiple jobs. We've helped people in bankruptcy. I promise we've helped people that were poorer than you, less educated than you, had less experience than you, people that never started a business, 18 year old kids. All they had was resourcefulness and commitment. That's really it. So I really, this is a turning point. This can be a turning point for you. You get to stand and kind of make the decision. If you are going to make the decision of Mike's full of crap, he's just ranting, and maybe I am. He's just ranting. He just likes to hear himself talk, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm unsuccessful because of the government or because of my race or because of the amount of money I have or whatever. Fill in the blank. It doesn't matter what. Um, and that's why I'm unsuccessful and that's never going to change. If that's the case, that's the case, right? Uh, Henry Ford was famous, famously said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right, right? So if you're just committed to, I don't have any money, I don't have this, I don't have that, therefore I'm gonna fail, then that's where we kind of part friends, right? Then you're going to fail. I don't know what else to tell you, get a job. However, if you're going, all right, Mike, I'm gonna go all in. Don't have education, I don't have a lot of money or any money. Um, I'm not particularly good looking. I don't even, I'm trying to think of stuff. I don't have any experience. Whatever the things that you think that you need, but Mike, I commit to myself more importantly and to you and to whoever I need to, that I'll be all in committed, no matter what, no one's ever gonna get me to quit and I will be resourceful. I will figure crap out. If I need money, I will find a way to get money. If I need friends or connections or help or a mentor or uh, systems or processes or connections or anything, I will do whatever it takes. I will be resourceful and I'll never give up till I have this. If that's you and you're willing to do that, then, you, you have everything that you need. I will take that, that client or that student over a guy with money, over a guy with, or gal with talent, with anything. There's nothing else. So the good news is you can decide that right now who you're gonna be. And I wanna tell you, when I was younger, I ignorantly thought, oh, if I just had a big business, I see other guys or gals that were successful, I'm like, oh, if they died and like gave me their business and I could just be in that situation, I would be successful. I could do as well as they do, you're right? Because I'd see what they did and it didn't look that hard, right? They were, I'm like, that guy's not any smarter than me. And guess what? He wasn't, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. <laughs> but half the time they weren't smarter than me. The reality of it was they had paid the price. They had built that muscle, right? So it's, you, you might see a person with lots of muscle and no fat and go, well, I could be that. You absolutely could, but you didn't, right? He or she has put in the time in the gym, put in the time preparing and eating healthy foods. They've done the work to literally build that muscle. And you're going, well, I could do that. You certainly can, but you haven't, right? So you, the, the only way for them to get there is to build the muscle. They can't pay a trainer. They can pay a trainer to help them go faster, but the trainer can't lift the weights for them, right? So it's the same thing with that business. If you see a business that you admire, and, you know, it's funny when we see someone with muscle, you're like, oh, he could do it and I couldn't. And you're like, no, of course I could do that. Same thing with the business. If you see someone with a business you could admire, you go, I could do that. You certainly could if you'll just have the determination, the resourcefulness. And again, I talk a lot about systems and processes, which you also need. But guess what? If you're determined and resourceful, you will find a place to get the systems. And, you know, you're here. You already you found us. We're here. Um, so that commitment and decisiveness will help solve all the other problems. But the reality is, I promise you, and it's hard to believe this before you've kind of had the businesses, you could have a two or $3 million business now. And if you've never done that, it would fail and crumble because you don't know what you don't know. And you haven't built that muscle that you need to build. So the, the cool thing is you have to be and get to be the person that builds that muscle to, to and I, it's funny, I always tell people that enroll in our, our, our nine week program. I say, we totally baited and switched you. We told you we're gonna help you grow your cleaning company. That was a, that was a joke. We're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna help build you as the owner and then magically your cleaning company is gonna be super successful. So that's the, that's the magic, that's the trick, that's the secret, that's the look, the peek behind the curtains. It is not about, it is about what you do, but who you are that's doing it and why you do it and the, the kind of who you are behind the what you do is so much more important. So the cool thing is, you get to decide if that's you. Um, so for all of you that don't have money, that don't have influence, they don't have friends, they don't have connections, they don't have education, you don't have experience, all that's fine. All of that's fine. I promise you can be successful. The only non-negotiable that means you can't be successful is you buy. I'm not willing to be committed. I'm going to give up when things get hard and I promise you they'll get hard. I've never met a wildly successful person who's like, straight up, nothing ever went wrong, got hard, we just went straight to the top. It's always two steps forward, one step back. So if you're like, doesn't matter, whatever it is, I'm committed to figure this out. So the commitment is the never giving up. The figuring this out is the resourcefulness. When things get hard, not if they get hard, I'm going to do anything I need to do to figure this out. If that is you, you have what it takes.
don't care how much money you have. Don't care how much, don't care about anything else. If you are the one that says I'm all in commit, I'll do whatever it takes and I will be resourceful. I'll figure this crap out. And if I, if the thing, if the first thing doesn't work, I'll do the second. If that doesn't work, I'll do the third. If that doesn't work, I'll do the ninth. If that doesn't work, I'll do the 23rd. That guy or gal is always going to succeed period. End of sentence. Always. Once you grow that muscle and once you become that person, you will be successful at any job or any business and always be in demand. You will never starve. That is a skill that is worth for the rest of your life. So I really, really, really want to encourage you guys. That's, that's the deal. So if that's you and you go, holy crap, I am all in. I am that guy. I always thought because I didn't have money because I have this, I couldn't succeed. But if you're telling me, Mike, all I need to do is be that guy or that woman that never gives up and is resourceful and figures crap out. You have everything you need to, to succeed. So you got two options. You can figure it out on your own like I did in 20 years from now and hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in, have it kind of figured out and, and have the success that you want. Or you can go, well, that seems stupid. I'll just learn from this idiot's mistakes. Uh, and we're, we're happy to help you do that. That's why we exist. If you go to growmycleaningcompany.com, you can sign up for the absolutely free webinar, uh, live on-demand training, uh, not live, but the on-demand training um, where we kind of go over all the steps that you need, the five shifts that you need to make. And again, if you, I'll be honest with you. If you have the determination and the resourcefulness, you don't need us at all. You will absolutely succeed. All we can do for you is instead of making it a 20 year process, we can make it maybe a two year process. <laughs> we can get you there so much farther, so much faster with so much less headache. But if you don't have that resourcefulness and commitment and, and, and decisiveness and all in factor, we can't help you. You can give us all the money in the world. It's still going to be hard. We can't help you. So really that's it. Decisive, committed, resourceful. If that's you, we can have, give you every tool that you need to make this go so much faster, so much further, um, and just save you a lot of headache. If you don't have that, we can't help you as a client. Even if you get tons of money and tons of experience and whatever, we just, there's nothing we can do for you if you're going to give up. Kittery says, thank you for saying the hard things. We need to hear them. I appreciate that, Kittery. Thank you. Because again, I really like to be encouraging and kind of talk about the fun stuff. But I, more than anything, I want you guys to be successful. So when I feel like there's something that has to be said and it's the truth. Because again, we all want to hear like, and again, trust me, if I want to sell you crap, I'd go, oh, just pay me for my magic beans and I'll do all the hard work and nothing will be hard and everything will be easy and be a billionaire by tomorrow. I would love to tell you that because it's very profitable for me, but it's so not true. And it's such a disservice, right? The reality is we always got to work on the entrepreneur first and then the, the business follows. So if that's you, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. And again, all you got to bring, good looking, ugly, rich, poor, Tall, short, <laughs> educated, not, don't care. Commitment, resourcefulness. If you have those things, we can absolutely help you. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com. Sign up for the free on-demand training. Uh, there's nothing for sale on it. It's totally free. There's actually a gift at the end. It's amazing. And again, if you're all in committed and resourceful, it can be a life-changing experience. If you're not, don't waste your time. Won't be of any use to you. I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.